Well, what are we fixing today? Let's see what my wife fixed. She didn't like... Anyway. I love my wife. I love my wife. What are we fixing today? Today we're going to fix this thing. This is the third part of what we were going to do last time. But it ended up to be too long. So we're going to do some fixing on this. This is... As you can tell, a brand name, if your name is Jason. <laughs> I don't know, some Chinese thing we got from some, I don't know. I've had it for years. I did buy it new, but it's not anything to write home about. Uh, I've tried to use it in videos in the past and I've had trouble lately. And then, okay, let's, let's get a better look. So here it is, and there's a big warning, and if your name is Jason, this is an awesome model, but I don't know what any of that means. 1993, oh, so 30 years old. Makes sense. You can tell I lost the guard here. Um, this, this, the last time I used it, this broke. And if, I don't know if you can, if it'll focus on it. That casting is, that was the casting. There was no, I didn't drill that out. <laughs> that was bubbles on the casting. So awesome, right? And there you can see some more casting defects. But anyway, this is supposed to go on this rod and then it holds the blade. Previously, the carbon blocks that were supposed to be in here this all broke so let's just put this in the pile of that's what it used to be maybe we need pieces and let's come over here so the neighbor had a bandsaw that they just wanted the motor drive out of and Here's a guard for the other side. Here's uh, maybe better casted, maybe not. Front end, instead of the carbon wheels, it has rollers. It has the back roller. This is a little funky. I think we're gonna be cleaning this up a little bit. And then it has this thing which is somebody, something somebody aftermarketed. This was on there. I think we're gonna do that. It had this, which was under the blade, uh, but mine's okay. So we're gonna stick with mine. An extra knob in case I need it. So we're gonna kind of service this a little bit, and then we're gonna put this together. How's that sound? So our first wee bit of servicing here is going to be Making these wheels work a little better. And I'm simply going to do this. I don't think these have been run. I know they haven't been run in at least four years and they've been sitting outside in the cold. So. Okay. That's got it kind of moving. I'm not quite sure what oil this is or if there's any in it. Oh yeah, this is, looks like machine oil. All right. All right. So good, so good. Let's take this out of here. tell you what this is all about later but that's that now let's come over here okay 
Well, before I do that, let's just let that oil sit in there for a little while. Let's take care of this. Thinking I want this off. That's why I see. Take the front cover off. Now, always before you work on something like this, I always unplug it. But of course, I don't know where a plug is. It's somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. It's 208. There. Check it. And that's not it. So I don't know where the plug is. <laughs> We're back to that. So don't do what I'm doing. Always uh, don't do it. Just don't. Just don't ever do it. Okay. This kind of goes on here. Now, the where this blade is adjusted. Looks like I need a hex key wrench. Looks like that one. I have a real wide blade in here right now, which means that this probably has to go in, right? So let's loosen it, get it out of the way. And this has to be in a ways too. So we'll just keep them loose for now so that they're not gonna make you crazy. And this gets mounted in here. How much can you see there? So we'll see pretty good. This gets mounted in here so that one, the blade's covered up by this so you don't touch it here and cut yourself. Two, the blade is ladder kept from laterally moving here. And three, the blade is kept from back loading there. But short term, I need this up and I need the flat side to go towards the back because I have a knob and a thing to grab it. So Alright. Wants to bind on me a bit. It's hitting the blade. Blade is kind of far out in front too. All right. Well, let's work on getting the blade kind of where it belongs. It isn't really where it belongs at the moment. The blade is a little far up. So to adjust that, you adjust some wedges somewhere back here. Spin it. All right, so now you can see back here what's going on. There are two knobs. What I want to do is tip this so that the blade lines up on here better. And the tippy one is this one. So now I'm thinking I want to go back like that. All right, so now I'm going to hand spin it. And that made it worse. All right, so you want to push on it a little more. Now the blade is touching up there. 
which is not good. So I need to persuade it not to touch. That's probably a little too far back. We'll adjust this a little more. The other way out a little bit. And now it's on the rubber, but it's on the back side of the rubber. Which has pushed this blade back a little ways. So Let's uh, try this now. Now this knob, I mean the knob, this bar, you want to be low enough that it can always adjust to it. And this needs some oil. A little snug around there. And this is telling about flush. Tighten it up. up and down, goes up and down on here. As it should, let's oil that a little bit. All right, let's bring it up a little ways. Now let's adjust this. So this one needs to be adjusted just so it touches the back of the blade. Turn this. Yeah, something's not right. This is bent in a little bit. Okay, that'll keep you from getting in the blade. This, for this blade, needs to be adjusted out a little ways here. Just kind of touching the blade, or almost touching the blade. Doesn't have to actually be touching. This, I could have just left and right, but I don't think I need to. Let's see where it goes. This has to be just so that the blade rides between it. This could be back a little bit, out a little far. Okay. Tighten that. That looks better. Let's put some covers on. Of 
First, the safety blade cover. Make sure it don't hit too much. Still not hitting. So let's turn it on. Hitting somewhere. Up on top here. That seems to work. So now the next part. This contraption. Have you figured out what this is yet? Here's a big hint. Recognize it? That. So, this is somebody's contraption to blow air on the blade so that you could see what you're cutting. I thought it was awesome. I decided to bring it along for the ride. So this screw up here, that I said I'd talk about later, well, that's where this goes. This is going to go up and down with the uh, blade assembly, so you can adjust it kind of right where you want it, right? I think. Don't know where I want it yet, but I'm thinking I should blow right in the front there. And this part they had mounted to the saw, but that, I think, is hard. And I have air right here, so I'm going to mount it over here. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. Mounting this up here. This one I got a mark that got it where it belongs. Like I so. I should be able to do that. Uh, this hose is really stiff and it doesn't want to clamp very well. I mean, it's, the clamp is tightening, but it isn't completely tight on here. So we'll just keep going. A little better. I might have to 
adjust that. Oh, that's better. All right, let's cut something a little more fun. I want to adjust this. That should adjust everything. It does. You always adjust this to where there's a little gap between here and here. Tighten it down, like so. Turn on a little bit of air. Nice. Not bad for a pretty darn dull blade. Let's turn the air off. Let's go. All right, let's turn the air off, see what happens. Not much different. Yeah. So, cut. This is kind of, eh. Well, that's it. This thing blows a little air down here. You can adjust this a little bit. Comes up to this contraption. This is what turns the air on. I just got a loop in the hose to take care of it. And to my airline. I got a safety guard here. I have rollers that work. Instead of the carbons that weren't there, I have a roller here that works. I have a casting that works. And all that goody stuff down here, I'm using my old parts, which is two carbon brushes. The sides worked okay. And a back roller. Well, that's my video for today. Fixing a bandsaw. Donor parts from the boneyard. Worked pretty well. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or you want some better drawings of this, or I know I'm not gonna do drawings, but I can give you a kind of scale drawings with a ruler or something of this air blower thing, which I think is kind of cute. But uh, there you go. Uh, if you like it, give me a like. And if you don't, tell me. If I can uh, help you in any other way, I got links below. And uh, so remember, next time you're fixing your bandsaw, make sure you have a good blower. Bye.